Based on recent DNA and archaeological research, the relationship between humans and dogs is one of the most enduring and significant partnerships in history, beginning far earlier than previously understood. Genetic evidence indicates that dogs diverged from an ancient, now extinct wolf population between 27,000 and 40,000 years ago, long before the advent of agriculture approximately 11,000 years ago. The domestication process likely began through a commensal pathway, or self-domestication, during the Ice Age. Less aggressive wolves, attracted to carcasses left by hunter-gatherers near their camps, gained a survival advantage by staying close to humans. Over thousands of generations, traits like lower fear and increased friendliness were naturally selected, leading to physical and behavioral changes that marked the origin of dogs. The location of this initial domestication has been debated, with candidates including Central Asia, East Asia, and Western Europe. However, recent genetic studies suggest a more complex dual ancestry model, with at least two major sources, one in Siberia and another related to wolves in the Middle East. This implies either multiple domestication events or early significant mixing between wolf populations. Dogs then dispersed alongside humans, moving east into the Americas and west across Eurasia. A poignant example of this deep early bond comes from the 14th 200-year-old remains of a dog found in Germany, buried intentionally with two humans. Genetic analysis revealed the dog suffered from canine distemper, a disease it could not have survived without human care, indicating emotional connections existed even before dogs had utilitarian roles, like protection or herding. In the Americas, ancient dogs formed a unique lineage about 14 to 600 years ago and remained isolated for millennia. Tragically, this lineage was almost entirely replaced and driven to extinction after European colonization, outcompeted by newly arrived dogs, a process likened to the extinction of Neanderthals. A rare genetic echo survives in some modern breeds, like the Chihuahua, which retains about 4% pre-colonial ancestry. Living with humans drove rapid adaptations in dogs. They evolved genes for improved lipid metabolism early on, allowing them to digest the fats and grease from human leftovers, a diet wolves cannot process efficiently. Later, as humans developed agriculture, dogs acquired genes to better digest starch, explaining why modern dogs can thrive on a varied human-associated diet. These dietary adaptations involved not just genetics, but also shifts in gut microbiome. Significant morphological changes also occurred. A comprehensive study of dog skulls over 50,000 years found that distinct dog-like skull features, different from wolves, emerged around 11,000 years ago in places like Russia. This diversification happened naturally thousands of years before the intensive, human-directed breeding of the Victorian era, driven by a combination of environmental pressures and human selection. Interestingly, studies of dogs in the Chernobyl exclusion zone show that, contrary to expectations, persistent radiation has not caused accumulated genetic mutations. Instead, the population reflects the extreme selective pressure of the initial disaster, where only the hardiest pet dogs survive to breed. This research provides insights into long-term health risks for all species in contaminated environments. In conclusion, dogs are not simply domesticated modern gray wolves, but the surviving lineage of an extinct wolf population that forged a deep partnership with humans at least twice in different parts of the world. This relationship, built on emotional bonds and mutual adaptation, shaped canine genetics, physiology, and morphology in tandem with human history. Studying dogs thus offers a unique window into our own past migrations, lifestyles, and the enduring power of cross-species friendship.